channel, it's Andy O'Reilly, and today I am at the executive level at the Muskegon County Airport. Jeff Tripp is back, and uh, we're actually in the office. Usually we stop in the airport to shoot these things, but today I got called to the office. It's no stra I'm no stranger to that, but uh, we're here to talk about some of the air service that goes on. The airport has been a great sponsor of everything we do since we've, uh, gosh, going back to when we started Positively Muskegon, Diane came on mm -hmm. early on in everything that we do, and she's like, we love what you're doing, we want to be a part of what you do, so... We are, we're thankful for your sponsorship for what we do, mm -hmm. and we know how important that the Muskegon County Airport is. And uh, well, we want to talk to you about what's going on, man. So yeah, we appreciate the support. Yeah. So, so to big things shaking at the airport. I mean, yeah. we've got our standard things, you know, flights in and out all day. Mm -hmm. Some casino trips to talk about, which are I'm going to hammer those hard because I've been on them and they're awesome. great. Mm -hmm. So let's talk a little bit about what the airport's got coming up for spring. Okay, well, some really good things for the spring. Uh, recently here in February, we just added a uh, second Saturday flights. So we now have 14 round-trip flights. Uh, so every two week? Flights a day, every week. Wow. So that's a new thing for us. Before it was 13, so now we got an extra flight. We're constantly working with the airline to try to see if we can keep modifying the schedule. Yeah. Uh, two years ago when I got here, the morning departure was leaving at 11.30 to Chicago. And that really makes it tough for the business traveler as well as the leisure traveler to, to make your connection. So... Right now, our schedule is departing at 10.15, and we keep working with the airlines to see if we can get that down to maybe a 6 or a 7 a.m. departure to really open things and up. And you're twisting some arms with that. We keep trying. Well, yeah. one of the big things that just happened recently, and we're just in the process of getting the, the announcements out, we've done it a little bit on Facebook and Twitter, is that United Airlines has named the Muskegon Station their Tier 4 uh, station of the, of the year for all their stations, both domestic as well as international. Basically, the four tiers airports, I think that's... For tier four is serving less than forty-two thousand customers a year, but that's okay. a big honor for this station. What goes into that award? Oh, let's see here. Looking at some of the things, got the press release here yesterday. Yeah. So, and saying that the prestigious award recognizes the top performing United and United Express stations, and is based on key performance metrics such as on-time departure, on-time arrival, rate of mishandled checked baggage, and more. Basically, you know, they this station won the first quarter um, award. And then the other three quarters, they were in the top five, so they've always been in the hunt. Yeah. I think, you know, with the current station management, James Perry and Dakota Mitchell do a phenomenal job, as do their staff. Yeah. And you definitely see the results where, you know, we have a pretty good on-time per uh, um, performance. Most of the time that we've had canceled flights is usually due to weather in Chicago sure. Sure. or a few times weather here. So it's usually things that are just impacting your reports around that. And that, region. to me, you know, when we go to fly somewhere, we try to use Muskegon every time. It's just mm -hmm. for the simplification of all of it. Absolutely. I'm here to tell you what. You think about driving to Grand Rapids or Detroit or Chicago and all that other kind of stuff. It's a nightmare. Mm -hmm. it, it, they are so yes. huge and so crowded and so congested. You're just opening yourself up to a world of problems. Mm -hmm. If you can fly here locally, do it. And, that, and you get awarded for it. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah, that's why I always ask people. At least, you know, check. It's not just the ticket price. But you know, if you get such a smoking deal elsewhere, we understand. What do you all do? we ask is check, you know, us first at united.com just to see. And then you factor in, what is your drive time? How much are you paying for parking? Some of the nice things I was talking to, a uh, businessman recently came back with you know, he, him and two other coworkers went on a flight and said it was nice to get back here, get your luggage in five minutes and be home within 20 minutes. Yeah. At a bigger airport, you may still be sitting at the ba baggage carousel waiting for your bag, then you still gotta get to the parking lot, then you get your drive home. Yeah. So if you look at all the, all the bits and pieces, maybe you're saving you know, even you know, 50 to $100 on a ticket, when you factor in your time and your parking and everything else, you yeah. know, are you are you saving time? And sometimes, you know, family of four is going on a vacation. Yeah, hundred dollars a ticket that adds up. So we understand, but all we ask is people at least take a look take at look. United.com first. Sure. Sometimes it's it's the best choice. Sometimes it's not. Yep. But air service is also a user to lose it you know, proposition yeah. where, you know, people say all the time, well, we'd like to fly out of here, but we want different destinations. So we say, well, we've got to support the the service we have first. And we have two flights a day with 100 seats going out. If we can get those up to 80, 90 percent, 100 percent, would be great to fill those up on a regular basis. That gives us more leverage with the airline. Like sure. any business, the more successful we are, the more leverage we have. But I think what the work we're doing on the schedule with the local SkyWest staff and then the corporate headquarters staff is paying dividends. So again, leveraging the award, leveraging the quality of service they're doing, I think hopefully we can get that, yeah. and that'll be, a, you know, I think a game changer. So it's all part of the reemergence of everything here in town. You hopefully. know, the airport's going through mm -hmm. part of that as well. 
It's a yeah. great thing. And then, of course, you mentioned the casino flights. Yeah, we yeah. look at uh, <laughs> yeah, in the last five years, you know, we've sold out eight to 11 uh, casino flights yeah. to Hoffman, Nevada on 737 aircraft, you know, 150, 155 people each time. Yeah, so that's, you know, kind of a, a great side uh, operation for us. Now, recently, thanks to the efforts of SNS Casino Tours, they brought the flight yeah. here in December. We, you know, it was going from Detroit to here to Fort Wayne. Well, now starting in May, and now a second flight that has told us last week in June, we'll be having the flight completely here. So it's a really good effort. We keep telling people sign up for our email blast at fly, uh, flymkg.com to get your email notification yeah. list. Uh, Diane does a great job getting that list out, and I always tell people, you know, it sells out so quick that if you don't usually get on it the first day or two, particularly yeah. Laughlin, I'm going to assume in the Atlantic City, it's sold out. So I'm going to tell you a little yeah. story. Mm -hmm. uh, for a while there, um, I do you know radio production stuff, mm -hmm. and Laughlin was one of my markets. We we worked through like Havasu, but the way that it was laid out was that you know Laughlin was one of their satellite markets in Lake Havasu. We were doing 300 spots a month for mm -hmm. that area, so it was time to go visit Laughlin. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh, it, is. it is so great. The Colorado River runs right down through there. Check it this and, time of year. Oh, yeah. It's mm -hmm. great. They got everything you want. Casinos, all that other kind of stuff. But the Atlantic City flights, mm -hmm. I've been on three of them. And you will not find a better value and more fun for, two. what is it, 250 bucks? In that range. Somewhere in that, but whatever it is, it, you can't drive there for what they charge you. You stay right on the boardwalk. You are right on the Atlantic Ocean. You're in a first class hotel. It, it, the food, the fun, the steel pier, everything there is in Atlantic City, it is just. And, and Atlantic City itself, from when we started going till now, has done a 360 like you can't believe it. When, when, when you went there, the word was go to the boardwalk, stay on the boardwalk, don't go on the other side of the hotels. Now, <laughs> On the other side of Atlantic City's boardwalk are gigantic factory, you know, what do they call those uh, uh, factory direct shops, outlet stores. Yeah, outlet stores. Yeah, yeah. it's so remarkably incredible. Mm -hmm. I, I love SNF. It's Scott and Sandy. I've been on them long enough that I know their first names, mm -hmm. and I've been around these guys long enough. If you want something fun to do, mm -hmm. get on the SNS Casino flight and don't miss it because you, you can't drive there for what you get. Yeah, and you really can't. Yeah, and the nice thing is with the, with them going through Caesar's Entertainment, they yeah. also do all the things on the Gulf Coast. We've been trying for years to get a Gulf Coast down to like Beau Rivage or yeah. some place like that. So as we continue to hopefully sell these flights out, hopefully you know, try to push for hey winter time, maybe yeah. do the casino flights to the south. It's a value. It's a value, and that's why I'm yeah. pushing it hard because everybody in Muskegon wants something on the cheap. That you want a deluxe trip and you want to save yourself a few bucks. Mm -hmm. Trust me on this one. You're going to love the SNS Casino flight. You really will. Absolutely. So, what else have we got coming up here? Oh, let's see. Well, those are probably the biggest things. I mean, yeah. really, uh, we have a couple of uh, we have an airfare sale going on um, through April 11th. The details are available at flymkg.com. We'll link it up. Okay, and that is basically it's going to be an airfare sale between uh, one-way trips to to and from Chicago to Muskegon. Okay. So it's a good value there. Uh, discounted fares are available through April 11th and for flights through June 6th. The other thing we're working on right now is we have a current promotion is a uh, two free round trip tickets to Asheville, North Carolina. Uh, they, again, Diane spent a lot of time working with the airline to get that going, so I want to give her kudos for putting that together. Uh, holiday blackout supply and travel must be completed by October 31st. Yeah, I was going to throw that disclaimer in there, don't but, <laughs> Again, you can also sign up at flankg.com, so I know we've had a, a lot of interest in, in Asheville, so that's a good thing. So it'll be you know, just one more thing we're, we're trying to do to help you know, yeah, give, give sure. opportunities to our customers. Sure. Um, some other things coming up, uh, trying to get out. Again, the biggest thing is going to be uh, the summer schedule, if we can get that early morning flight, which we'll then we'll do a real crossed. marketing blitz. Keep our fingers crossed. Again, you know, the more people keep traveling uh, here, the better off we are. Absolutely. Uh, getting set for Electric Forest. We've been working with you know, United to uh, either add, you know, give us additional flights and or go to the 70 seat jet because we know with 100,000 people coming in for those two weeks. Yeah. They've been very supportive and uh, right now we've got good billing on their webpage. So, you know, we we'll continue to keep working with that and other groups to say, how do we support that event? Yeah. Because they're bringing in their bands here, they're bringing in you know number of people. They have their shuttles operating out of here, so there's Pretty a lot, awesome stuff. a lot of good things to get people into the community. And the more we can get them into fly here, then they'll hopefully rent cars, use the shuttles, stay in the hotel, spend money at the restaurants. We love it. Absolutely, it's all going in the right direction. Mm -hmm. Long time sponsor of everything we've done here at the Muskegon Channel and Positively Muskegon. Jeff, thank you for your hard work. Good to see you. I ran into you up in Whitehall, and that's kind of how this uh, mm -hmm. got kicked off up there. And uh, we appreciate the support. Of the Muskegon County Airport, use it or lose it. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm going I'm to say it one more time: if you want a great time, 
get on board those SNS casino flights. Don't miss them. You're going to have a great time. All the links will be right here on the Muskegon channel. Jeff, have a great weekend. Right. Thank you, too. I got the remote. You know, I, always, right. I missed the handshake because of the remote, and I watched it. <laughs> All the details right here on the Muskegon channel. Yep.